Good morning, St. Paul Panther family on this beautiful day in May. Today, Friday, May 8th, we are having our Mary uh, May crowning. We'll crown Our Lady, which has been a tradition in the church for centuries to honor Mary who said yes to Jesus. And because of her, we now can enjoy the presence of Jesus Christ here uh, spiritually in our souls through baptism and in uh, the sacrament of the Eucharist. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to videotape it and then send you the link uh, instead of live streaming it. So we'll do that to you by 12. And we also have a link to uh, some of our eighth graders who would have crowned Mary. They've made a video as well. Today, I'd like to recognize all of our May birthdays. So those of you who have birthdays in May, happy birthday to Deleshka in second grade, Axel in second grade, John in second grade. In eighth grade, excuse me, John. John in eighth grade. Tommy in fourth grade. London in kindergarten. Emily in first grade. Harley in fourth grade. Ethan in third grade. Esaul in first grade. Jalen in second grade. Those are all of our student May birthdays. And for faculty and staff, Father Kenny's birthday is in May. And also Miss Bennett. Third grade teacher, Miss Sheila, pre-K-4 teacher, Miss Storms, who this year was rece uh, receptionist and librarian. Happy birthday. I also want to send a shout out to all mothers. We celebrate Mother's Day on Sunday. The gift of motherhood is, I think, one of the greatest gifts that God has given to us. Uh, the mothers, true mothers, bring life into the world and also uh, spiritually nourish their children. Right? They provide for their physical and spiritual needs. So kindness and patience and um, generosity and, and moms just don't get enough credit, I think, for all the work they do. And each teacher also is uh, a mother of sorts, a spiritual mother for her children. Now we're not perfect, right? Moms, we can't be perfect, but we can try. And so if we turn to Our Lady today at the May crowning, just beg her, ask her, Mary, give, help me to be more patient and kind and loving. I, you know how much I love my family, but these times are also stressful. So Mary, help me. Right? How could she not answer that prayer? So boys and girls, we're going to film the May crowning and then we're going to leave. We're going to crown Our Lady, uh, the statue outside, Our Lady of the Highway. And we're going to leave vases around uh, the statue, empty vases. So if you would like to come to the school and put flour in the vase, just like you used to do at our May crowning uh, each year, you can do that right, with your parents' permission. So I hope to see some of you do that as May, uh, as we go forward in May. Okay, I think that's all. Let's pray. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Heavenly Father, I offer you this day all that I do and think and say, uniting it with what was done by Jesus Christ, your only Son. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. All glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh, St. Paul, pray for us. The Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible with liberty and justice for all. Okay, have a fantastic Friday, boys and girls, and I will see you at the May crowning, and I'll see you on Monday. God bless you. Oh, one more thing. Yesterday was our eighth grader's last day. So congratulations, eighth grade, and they're going to graduate next Friday, May 15th. We're going to do a virtual graduation, and we're going to record it so that you could all see it at a later time. So eighth graders, we love you. We're praying for you, and I know this is bittersweet. Please know that uh, you will always, once a St. Paul Panther, always a St. Paul Panther. God bless you.